Okay, shall we pray? Can I pray? Yes. Mm-hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, mm-hmm. thank you for this class. Mm-hmm. Please be with us as we study together. Mm-hmm. And guide our minds. Mm-hmm. Help me as I teach. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. <coughs> In 1844, <coughs> the Adventists were very discouraged after October 22nd. October 22nd, October 22nd, the Adventists were only new change. And they gave up almost completely the midnight cry. And at that court, the midnight cry? The midnight cry. It's, it's the name of the year? Yeah. If you turn in your Bibles to Matthew 25, you'll see the midnight cry. Matthew chapter 25 is the story of the 12 virgins, 10 virgins. And the ten virgins are waiting for Jesus to come, waiting for the bridegroom. <clears throat> Look at verse 6. It says, at midnight a cry was heard. What's that word for midnight? Modhura. Means like in the middle of the night. It means like barota. Basically, cannot get any darker than this. So, what what is the midnight cry? What does it say? Behold, the bridegroom is coming, go out to meet him. When the Adventists thought Jesus was coming soon, specifically on October 22nd, they were giving the midnight cry. They said, Behold! Jesus is coming! He's coming very, very soon, two days from now, one day from now. He's coming today on October 22nd. <clears throat> and get ready. Go out to meet him. This is a good verse to mark. The midnight cry. And after Jesus did not come on October 22nd, the Adventists said, Well, I guess the midnight cry wasn't real after all. <coughs> November went by. And then December came. And many of them were still thinking, well, maybe we didn't read the Bible correctly. They're still studying. <clears throat> but on January 5th, as some of these Millerites were studying, there was a group of young women. Who were meeting for prayer. They were meeting for prayer. <coughs> and one of those young ladies was a Millerite named Ellen Harmon. Only 17 years old, very sick. Only third grade education. But during that prayer meeting on December 5th, 1844, God gave her a vision. 
She said, glory, glory, glory. Many times. <clears throat> when she would have visions. But this time she just kind of fainted. And she saw amazing things. Does anyone remember where we stopped when we were reading last time? If someone can find where we stopped, then that would be good. I'll start with Hastima. I gotta grab my book as well. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll pass that around. Sorry. It's a vision that's unforgettable. Yeah, can you translate that? Did we read about Jesus sounding his silver trumpet? Okay. Like at the end of the passage, it says that I was standing right under the tree branches, the tree of life. The tree of life. The the fruit of the tree of life were amazing. They looked like gold mixed with silver. Yes. Okay. Then let's read the next one. We all went under the tree and sat down. <clears throat> I can understand the Bangu enough to follow, so no need to translate once um, they get started. Well, can I translate whatever you are reading, or should I read this? Okay, let's try it once. So start from we all went under the tree and sat down to look at the glory of the place. Uh, when brethren Fitch and Stockman, who had once preached the gospel of the kingdom, and whom God had laid in the grave to save them, came up to us and asked us what we had passed through while they were sleeping. By Fitz or Stockman, Jada Shabuja Shoshama Shakuja Kurish and Ebun Shoku Jada Rafa Jono, Pogu Shuya Dichu, Tara Amade Kache, Jigasha Kurlin, Tara Jum Bissam Kushan, the Honda Kam Kushi Mukabara Kuchi. We tried to call up our greatest trials, but they looked so small compared with the far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory that surrounded us that we could not speak of them. We all cried out, Hallelujah, heaven is cheap enough. We touched our glorious harps and made them its arches ring. Amra Amade Moha Porika Porisi the Shoran Pora Chishtakuna. In the Amade Chapasha Unanum Matra Tirito, O Onunto Kalin Muhimar Mule Tulunai, Ta Abare Kutsu, the Amar Muke, Mukde Ak of Kuru Ucharun Ute, Parlamna. Our Amra Shabba Shamusha Ucharu Pole Utlam, Hallelujah, Shorbu, Jodhistra Shabbos. Our Amra Amade Roshadan Banis Porsha Polarun Shorbuyo, Shankar Bajanam. Uh, uh, 16. We guide them to find the next. Show the do it. Show the do it. The name Elam. Ek Moha or Gisal Porbatu for a name Elam. Porbot, the Shuke Daran Corte, Napere, 
বিচ্ছিন্ন হয়ে গেল এবং বিশাল সমভূমির সৃষ্টি হল তখন আমরা দৃষ্টিপাত করে মহানগরী দেখতে পেলাম যার বারোটি ভিত্তি মূল বারোটি দরজা রয়েছে প্রত্যেক পাশে তিনটি করে এবং প্রতি দরজায় একজন স্বর্গদূত পাহারা দিচ্ছেন আমরা সবাই উচ্চ স্বরে চিৎকার করে বললাম পবিত্র নগরী মহানগরী এটি আসিতেছে স্বর্গের ঈশ্বরের কাছ থেকে নেমে আসছে আর আমরা যেখানে দাঁড়ানো ছিলাম সেখানে এসে এই নগরী স্থাপিত হল নগরীর মধ্যে আমি সবচেয়ে ঐশ্বর্যময় ঘর বাড়ি দেখতে পেলাম সেগুলো রূপময় প্রতিটি ঘর চারটি স্তম্ভের উপর বিভিন্ন ধরনের মুক্তাই সজ্জিত ছিল এগুলো ধার্মিক গণের বাসস্থান প্রতিটি ঘরে একটি করে স্বর্ণময় তাক রয়েছে আমি দেখতে পেলাম অনেক ধার্মিক সেই ঘরগুলোতে প্রবেশ করলেন এরপর পৃথিবীর বিষয়ক কিছু করার জন্য ঘরের পাশের খেতে প্রবেশ করলেন এখানে আমরা পৃথিবীর বিষয়ে যেমন কাজ করি তেমন কোনো কাজ নয় না না তাদের প্রত্যেকের মাথায় উজ্জ্বল আলো বিকিরণ করছিল আর তারা অবিরত ঈশ্বরের উদ্দেশ্যে উচ্চধ্বনি ও প্রশংসা করছিলেন Remember that this is a real place. The Bible says that Jesus is going to prepare a place for us. So Ellen White got to see some of these glorious houses. These glorious, beautiful stones. It will be a wonderful place. Should we continue? আমি অন্য একটি ফুল বাগান দেখতে পেলাম যেখানে সব ধরনের ফুলের পরিপূর্ণ ছিল আর আমি যখন সেগুলো তুলে তুলছিলাম আমি চিৎকার করে বললাম এগুলো কখনো ম্লান হবে না পাশে আমি কিংবা লম্বা লম্বা ঘাসের একটি খেত দেখতে পেলাম সেগুলো দেখতে অনিন্দ সুন্দর এগুলো চিরসবুজ আর এগুলো যখন মহিমা রাজা যিশুর প্রতি সদ্ধম্বের তরাঙ্গায়িত হচ্ছিল তখন এর উপর রূপ ও স্বর্ণময় প্রতিফলন দুটি চড়াচ্ছিল এরপর আমরা সব ধরনের পশুময় একটি খেতে প্রবেশ করলাম সিংহ মেস চিতা নেকড়ে সবাই একসঙ্গে নিখুঁত ঐক্যতানে রয়েছে আমরা সেগুলো মধ্য দিয়ে পার হয়ে গেলাম আর সেগুলো শান্তিপূর্ণভাবে আমাদের অনুসরণ করল তারপর আমরা একটি বনে প্রবেশ করলাম পৃথিবীতে অন্ধকার মৈজে জঙ্গল আছে ঠিক তেমন না 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 কিন্তু উজ্জ্বল আলোময় সব কিছুই চমৎকার গাছের শাখা প্রশাখার সামনে পিছিয়ে দোল খাচ্ছিল আর আমরা সবাই সমসয়ের গেলে উঠলাম আমরা নিরাপদে প্রান্তরে বাস করব এবং বনের মধ্যে নিদ্রা যাব আমরা বনের মধ্য দিয়ে পার হয়ে গেলাম কারণ আমরা সিয়ন পর্বতের দিকে যাচ্ছিলাম No animals that are going to scare us. Your girls will have to tell Raya about that animal you saw when you were hiking on Sabbath months ago. They... The, the nice thing about those animals, even though they're scary, they don't attack people unless people attack them first. Bagdas bolo bolo na, I bolo na. Bagdas bolo. Na mo na, hai hori. Ota hai hai. এরকম 
The lamb and the leopard, all of them will be together. Okay. Uh, Kevin, what? Is the. What is the. मुग्ध नयन स्वर्ग अपरूप महिमा देखिले तर पोशाक किनाराय लाल देखते पेलम तर मुकुद गलो दीप्तमान उज्जवल तर पोशाक धप धपे उज्जवल सदा तर शुभे जान पर जिज्ञेस कर ला कारा तीन तारा सबा सर जरा तरह मृत्युबरण कर But nothing to fear. 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 अथवा तर जो इच्छा है तरह जो तर सत पाखा व्यवहार करते मंदिर सौंदर्य बृद्धिर सब धरण गाज मंदिर चार पांच हुए रही बक्स नाम चिर सबुज एक धरण गाच पायन देव देव दारू अएल मेदी डालिम और डुमुर गाच सतु अनुसारे फल धरे फल भारे नत हो फल सह गाचल चार पांच दृश्य की अपूर्व कर तुले और पवित्र मंदिर प्रवेश करार आगे जीशु हाथ उचु कर तरह समुद्र कूमर कण्ठे बोलें केवल एक लक्ष चुआल सहस्र मंदिर प्रवेश करते मंदिर प्रवेश करते तक समस्या को चित्कार कर बोल हाले लुया Oh. I want to be one of the 144000 oh, oh, <laughs> 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 प्रकाशित वाक्य क्लस आगे तुम बुझ जिज्ञास करो तुम तुम बंधु से जाने मंदिर सबगल स्वच्छ निर्मल सोनार तैरी महाजगत से महिमा सम्बन्धे किसुता प्रश्न फलक देखते पेल जार सोनार अक्षरे एक लाख चल्लिस हजार एर नाम लेखा मंदिर अपूर्व महिमा देखार पर मंदिर बीशुमेंगे 
তিনি বললেন হে আমার লোকেরা আয়সা তোমরা মহা ক্লেশ ভোগ করিয়াছ এবং আমার ইচ্ছা পালন করিয়াছ আমার জন্য দুঃখ ভোগ করিয়াছ ভোজের জন্য ভিতরে প্রবেশ করো কারণ তোমাদের সেবা করার জন্য আমি প্রস্তুত হইয়াছি আমরা চিৎকার করে হালে লুইয়া প্রভুর মহিমা হোক বলতে বলতে নগরে প্রবেশ করলাম আমি খাটি রূপা তৈরি একটি টেবিল দেখতে পেলাম এটি অনেক মাই লম্বা তবু এর শেষ মাঠা পর্যন্ত স্পষ্ট দেখা যাচ্ছিল টেবিলের উপর আমি জীবন বৃক্ষের ফল মান্না বাদাম ডুমুর ডালিম আঙ্গুর সহ অসংখ্য ধরনের ফল দেখতে পেলাম তিনি আমাদের উদ্দেশ্যে বললেন এখন নয় যারা এই ফলের যারা এই দেশের ফল খায় তারা আর পৃথিবীতে ফিরে যেতে পারে না কিন্তু কিছুকাল পরে যদি বিশ্বস্ত থাকো তাহলে তুমি জীবন বৃক্ষের ফল ভোজন ও অনন্ত জীব জলের ধারা ঝর্ণা থেকে জলপান উভয় করতে পারবে তিনি আরও বললেন তোমাকে এখন অবশ্যই পুনরায় পুনরায় পৃথিবীতে ফিরে যেতে হবে এবং আমি তোমার কাছে যা প্রকাশ করেছি তা অন্যদের কাছে প্রচার করতে হবে তখন একজন স্বর্গদূর আমাকে এই অন্ধকার আচ্ছন্ন পৃথিবীতে নামিয়ে দিতে গেলেন মাঝে মধ্যে আমার মনে হয় আমি এখানে আর টিকতে পারব না পৃথিবীর সব কিছুই বিচ্ছন্ন মনে হয় এখানে আমার খুবই অসহায় মনে হয় কারণ আমি শ্রেষ্ঠ একটি জগৎ দেখেছি আহা আমার যদি খুকুর মতো পাখা থাকতো তাহলে আমি হয়তো উড়ে যেতাম এবং শান্তিতে বিশ্রাম নিতাম আমার আমাদের জন্য অনেক ভালো কিছু অপেক্ষা করছে Let's pray now. And then we'll continue our lesson. I ask that you take care of our hearts for him. Please help us to be kind to you. In Jesus' name. So when Ellen White was given this vision, আর এলেন হোয়াইট কে যখন এই দর্শন দেওয়া হয়েছিল ইট এনকারেজড হার এটা তাকে অনেক এনকারেজ এক্সপেরিমেন্ট এনকারেজ করেছিল দি অ্যাডভেন্ট বিলিভারস ওয়ার অলসো এনকারেজড আর অ্যাডভেন্টিস্ট যে বিশ্বাসীরা ছিল তাদেরকে তারাও কিন্তু অনেক এনকারেজ হয়েছিল বিফোর দে হ্যাড গিভেন আপ দ্য মিডনাইট ক্রাই আগে তারা এই We don't need to tell people that Jesus is coming soon anymore. But when she received this vision and told it to the people, then there was a new 
life, a revival took place. And they started to again tell people, Jesus is coming soon, we just don't know when. This was not the only vision she received. She would receive hundreds of visions through the rest of her lifetime. For over 60 years, she would be sharing her visions. Over 60. Over 60, more than 60. But those first visions were given for very specific reasons. You'll want to remember this. Her first vision was given because people were discouraged about the midnight cry. In the second vision, Ellen White received instructions saying that she should rebuke the uh, false teachers. There was a group of people that said Jesus came in 1844. But he came spiritually. Not literally. She was directed to the Bible where it says in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 Behold he is coming with clouds and every eye will see him. Jesus is coming and everyone will know when he comes. It won't be some secret event. But these false teachers were very popular. And so she went around and was preaching against this spiritual second coming. So the first vision, midnight cry. God gave the second vision, why? And why, why, what were the false teachers saying? Mm -hmm. Jesus came but in spirit. And she was saying, no, when Jesus comes, it will be literal. The third, the third vision was kind of like the one that Hiram Edson received. Hiram Edson. Mm -hmm. What did Hiram Edson see in vision? Hiram Edson Can anyone tell Raya what he saw? Hiram Edson Hiram Edson Hiram Edson Hiram uh, that's what Ellen White saw in the first vision we just finished reading. She saw she saw the Advent believers walking a straight path up to heaven. But Hiram Edson saw a vision about something like this picture. Hiram Edson, 
You remember this? I remember. You remember? I know. Oh, she Jani. I can't tell you. Money also. Sanctuary? Money also? Sanctuary. Yes, he went from the holy place to the most holy place. Exactly right. In, in Ellen White's third vision, she saw the same thing. But she also saw a, well, she was also told something specific about that event. She said that those who don't believe in the ministry of Jesus in the most holy place, will be left in darkness. Why is that? Think about it. When Jesus goes into the most holy place, that's the last place he goes before coming to earth. So right now as we speak, what is Jesus doing in heaven? Literally doing in heaven. Because Jesus literally came to earth, and he literally walked, and he literally died, and he literally raised up again. What is he literally doing for us now? He is about us to God? Yes! He's, he's interceding for us. He's saying, Father, Father, these ones have accepted my blood. Accept them. And for those who have not accepted, he's going through the books and showing why they cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's called the judgment. Before Jesus comes, everybody's specific case must be decided for good or for evil. We don't know when, but soon Jesus will say the words <laughs> in Revelation 22 verse 11. <laughs> he who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He was filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he who is holy, let him be holy still. When that word is said, there will be no more switching to good side or evil side. All those who are good and have chosen God, who have allowed Jesus into their hearts, not just accepted him and then let their lives do whatever, but those who have become righteous through the strength of Christ, and who Jesus has made holy, they will stay that way forever. But this is why the message is very important. Because in our day, 
And we do not know when this word will be said. When it is said, then those who are unrighteous, those who are continuing to sin, they can never become righteous. Probation is closed. I remember when I first heard this, I was very afraid. Afraid that I would be lost forever. I wouldn't know if God was finished with his work in the sanctuary. There's a lot of hope for us. Because when that word is said, very, very quickly afterwards, disasters and disasters will come and then Jesus will come. Right now, I know that probation is not closed. The seven last plagues have not yet come. The, um, the, 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 yeah, the, the pouring out of the Holy Spirit has not yet happened. That could happen tomorrow, though. I don't know when. I know right now the Holy Spirit is doing amazing things. Recently there was a school in... I don't know where. There's a, there's a Christian school. At the Christian school, I said. Not Adventist, but Christian. Adventist like the Christian school. And they were praying for the Holy Spirit. And for three weeks they have been all day and I think even all night in their chapel singing songs and praising the Lord. Three days. No, three weeks. Three days. God wants to pour out on us the Holy Spirit. Because when that happens, then we are given power to take the gospel to the whole world. And then Jesus comes. But this is why this message of the judgment is important. Because it also goes with the first angel's message. It says, fear God and give glory to Him. Why should we fear? Because sin separates. That's why we don't play with sin. It's a very serious thing. I wish I knew how to explain it better. But I remember that fear I felt when I first heard this teaching. It was a good fear. Because we should be afraid of sin. But then I found hope. Jesus isn't up there trying to condemn me. He's trying his very best to say, we can make it, we can make it. He's doing everything in his power to make it possible for you to overcome sin. That gives me hope. And that should give all of us hope. Okay, we're not doing a Bible study on Revelation. Although I would love to because it's an amazing book. I want to tell you a little more what happened when Ellen White was given her visions. So, what's happening? 
দুঃখিত During her, one of her first visions, there was a family Bible sitting on the table. And she was only 17 years old. She picked up the Bible, held it over her head for 20 minutes. Now, you would think, oh, that's not a big deal because... The Bible is not very heavy. But in those days, the Bibles they made were big family Bibles. The Bible that she held weighed 18 and a half pounds. This is a picture of my teacher, Dr. Z, holding the Bible. I have also held that same Bible. Um, it's in California right now. Uh, in the house of Ellen White. And I couldn't hold it out on the end of my arm for even two seconds. But she held it there for 20 minutes. And when she was opening to the verses, she would hold it above her head so she couldn't see it, and then point to the verse, and then say it without seeing it. <laughs> That's what this picture is. <laughs> so you can see her pointing to the verse. And the Bible's in front of her, so she can't see the Bible. But she pointed to the verse and said it over and over. Uh, different verse, different verse. And the people said, this is surely from God. So that was one supernatural thing. What was the second one? When she had visions, sometimes she wouldn't blink at all. They would, the doctors would sometimes take a candle and put it up to her eye and she still wouldn't blink. It was supernatural. And the last one, perhaps the most impressive, Sometimes when Ellen White was in vision, she wouldn't breathe for over 20, 30 minutes, sometimes two hours. Um, one time they had a doctor take a mirror, put it right in front of her mouth. What happens when you put a mirror in front of your mouth and you start breathing? Mm, it becomes foggy, right? They didn't see any of that. She didn't breathe at all. Um, other, other times she would have supernatural strength. Just like the first one when she held the Bible, that was supernatural strength. They would take a group of people, a group of men, some of them very, very strong, and say, try to move her arm. 
লোকেরা করত কি খুব শক্তিশালী লোকদেরকে নিয়ে যেতে নিয়ে যাওয়ার পরে বলতো কি ওই অ্যালেন আছে ওর হাতটা একটু স্বর্ণ চেষ্টা করতো and even the strongest men in town could not move her on when she was in vision jokhon alan doshon deto tokhon oi town e ba oi shohore shobcheye shobishali byakti o take noyate parena then when she would come out of vision she would be a weak 17 year old or however old she was at that time she would be weak just like before ar dokhon je shohor pore she ei shamon manush moto hoye jeto she je boyoshe chilo she boyoshe gulo moto hoye All these signs were given because many people doubted whether she was really from God. Uh ei somosto chinho dao hoyechilo oi sob lokker jonno jara ashole doubt korto je Ellen je doshon gulo pe pachhilo she doshon gulo shob chilo. So why do I believe in Ellen White? Ekhon ami Ellen White ke keno bishwas kori? I don't believe because of the signs. Ami take bishwas kori tar doshoner jonno. I do believe the signs. Ami tar সেই দর্শনের চিহ্নগুলো বিশ্বাস করি আই হ্যাভ সিন দ্য হোম হার হোম উইথ মাই ওন আইজ তার বাসা আমি নিজে চোখে দেখেছি আই হ্যাভ হার্ড দ্য স্টোরিজ फ्रॉम হার ওন গ্র্যান্ড কিডস আই টক উইথ देम তার নিজে সে নাতি নাতনিদের সাথে আমি কথা বলেছি তার গল্প শুনেছি তার কাছে বাট আই ডোন্ট বিলিভ बिकॉज অফ দ্যাট কিন্তু আমি এই সমস্ত কারণের জন্য তাকে বিশ্বাস করি আই বিলিভ बिकॉज व्हेन আই রিড হার বুকস আমি তাকে বিশ্বাস করি কারণ যখন আমি তার বই পড়ি আই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য বাইবেল বেটার আমি তখন বাইবেল আরো ভালো হয়ে গেছে when i read her books যখন আমি তার বই পড়ি i grow closer to christ আমি ঈশ্বরের কাছে আসি when i read her books i have hope যখন আমি তার বই পড়ি তখন আমার আশা আছে and i'm and i love to study the bible much more আর আমি বাইবেল পড়তে আরো পছন্দ করি i believe because she passes all the tests of a true prophet আমি তাকে বিশ্বাস করি কারণ সে সঠিক একজন Many of you, many of us are going to see the last great deception. Which is directly against the spirit of prophecy. I'll talk about that tomorrow. But maybe some of you are wondering why I'm not having you read your book anymore. It's because the author of that book I recently found out is not supporting her. And the last great deception will be directly against Ellen White. And against the Sabbath. And the Bible is very clear on those things. So we'll talk about that next time. But now let's pray. We thank you for the gift of prophecy. Please help us to believe. And to understand why we believe. In Jesus name. Amen.